Can you explain the importance and role quercetin dihydrate plays in regards to the coronavirus? Yes, the flavonoid of choice is coercetin dihydrate because it's more soluble. It doesn't irritate the intestines at any dose, whereas quercetin, a category of flavonoids, of very low solubility, can, at higher doses, irritate. Irritate the intestines, irritate the cells, make them unhappy. So quercetin dihydrate and soluble OPC as the complementary flavanol are found in pain guard and found in perk repair guard. And as we have published in several chapters and in, uh, invited into textbooks, while there are many, many, I mean, there are literally thousands of flavonoids and flavanols, there's only one coercinin dihydrate, the one that over the last 30 years that we've been using it has been repeatedly found safer and effective at activating those wiggly dendritic cells that are under attack from viruses, including RNA viruses like corona. So yes, really important question. And yes, coercinin dihydrate is different than all other coercinins to the best of our experience and literature review. And we're very pleased to have identified this in the late 1980s and have continued to improve upon our experience with making sure that your first line innate immune defense and repair cells are active they're up and about, looking for anything that is foreign to recycle it, looking for anything that needs to be repaired in your infrastructure, your connective tissue, and repairing it. So coercin and dihydrate, unique flavonoid, preferable because of efficacy and safety, tolerability, and this is a little tidbit that I sometimes mention, if you are an orangutan in Balikpapan, Indonesia, and uh, somehow you were brachiating and you fell out of the tree and you hurt yourself, you'd climb back up to the top of the canopy and sit there pulling little green shoots off the ends of the growing canopy uh, trees and taking in 10, 20, 30, 40 grams, that's thousands of milligrams, of coercin and dihydrate equivalent, because coercin and dihydrate tends to concentrate in those little green shoots. It also comes from a very special tree called the Sephora japonica. It's very beautiful. <clears throat> and when you use the safer forms, the coercin and dihydrate flavonoid, you get multiple beneficial results. But don't confuse coercin and dihydrate with all the other coercinins out there that have very low bioavailability, very low efficacy, and poor tolerability. So yes, coercin and dihydrate, be careful about other coercinins.